You're watching Drake Wing Gaming. Enjoy the video. Hey guys and gals, Nary here from Drake Wing Gaming. So you me on Twitter, the Gaming Dragon today, and coming back at you another Let's Play episode of Tennis Ace: Shuichi's Path. So anyway, y'all, let's go ahead and just jump right back into it, shall we? Please sit back and enjoy for the next 18 minutes while entertaining. You. Let's jump right in. Alarm chain, you are up. And let's go. I got my nice mug of coffee here. I'm ready to bring you guys some entertainment. No, let's go back. Okay, there we go. All right. <clears throat> Without even thinking, I'm moving, I move on automatic, reaching for Saya's cheek, pinching and twisting it. Ow, 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 what are you doing? As soon as I realize what I'm doing, I let go right away, stifling an urge to laugh as while I do my best to smile, to be, while I try my, well, I do my best to smiling, to smile apologetically. Oops, sorry, I didn't even think about it. I'm shocked you managed to go through with that with no fear of death. That's, um, what I used to do when we were kids. I guess the whole reminiscing plus dealing with Saya while she was moody kind of brought it to my mind without even realizing. What? I forgot how much this used to hurt. S sorry. Saya painfully rubs her cheek, scooching a bit further away from me in the process. Although I don't think I pinched her that hard, I still feel a little guilty from doing it all at all in the first place. We're not kids anymore. We have a lot more strength nowadays. Stuff that used to be cute when we when we were little can actually hurt some hurt someone nowadays. It's a lesson I had to learn after I started after I started going through puberty. And when I wish Saya Chan would learn at some point, since it really hurts when she hits me. Granted, it's usually my fault for intentionally setting her off in the first place, but still. Jeez, I hope my cheek doesn't end up swelling up or anything. It was a pinch. I doubt it would swell. We'll see about that. I feel like I just got transported to some kind of alternate reality where I don't actually know the people right in front of me. Oh, grow up. Everybody has a past. Did I really see it right? Yuichi-san just pinched her cheek. Are you listening to me? Hey! Sai snaps her fingers in front of Kaken's face face to try and get his attention, yet he continues to look completely lost in thought. It seems that in, in our reliving of our childhood habits, we somehow managed to break him for some reason. I let myself sink further back into my seat, pulling out my phone and going back to browsing my old messages while tuning out while tuning out the sound of Saya and Keisuke doing their thing. Eventually, I land on my conversation with Shuichi, and, I, and a smile comes to my face as I read the last message he sent to me last night. Reading it again helps to dispel some of my earlier lingering unease. Sometime later... Today, Coach made sure to have us arrive a little earlier than yesterday at the tournament's venue. Something about wanting to avoid the hectic traffic of buses and players arriving for the competition. Even if the second day has half as many players left, it's still hectic. Hell, he even went for asking the hotel to serve breakfast half an hour earlier so we could eat something before leaving. Mostly because of the entrance ceremony that we had on the first day, the matches will be starting earlier today. Sadly, however, it seems he wasn't the only one to have that thought. So we ended up being stuck in traffic inside the bus for over 20 minutes, just a few streets away from the venue. Never before had I seen a crocodile's tail thrashing around that much, and I certainly hope to never see it again either. Pretty sure I'd suffer from internal bleeding if you hit me with that thing. As soon as we get out of the dri as soon as we get out of that driving death death machine, Sai Chan leans against it, sighing loudly and, in my opinion, over dramatically. Finally, if I had to be stuck in that bus for another minute with your tapping foot and coach's thrashing tail, would have gone insane. Sorry about that, I was a little nervous, that's all. It's fine, I just need to get out of that bus. Oof, that is the spot. The rabbit raises both arms in the air, stretching herself for what feels like a quite a long time, all the while making loud groaning sounds. Uh, the part that's most startling, however, is when we hear something pop. Did you just pop your back? Yeah? Well, why? You keep doing that and you'll be needing back braces by the time you're in your 30s. Will not, shut up. Aye aye, ma'am. Now stop calling me that, it's the second time today. Oh, Captain, my cap. You finish that sentence and you're a dead man. G gotcha. I'm gonna go stretch my legs a little bit. I can barely feel them. The bus was too cramped for me. What? You're the smallest one at- Hey! Without giving me a backward glance, Saya walks away from us, heading toward an area with some shrubbery on the other side of the street, proceeding to do stretches away from us. You sure are brave. Me? Huh? How come? Trying to use a line from one of Mizuguchi-san's favorite movies against her... You sure are brave. Oh. That. I have my moments. Whatever you say. But you said it yourself this morning. She's on edge today. If you want to keep messing with her, it's your funeral. I'll be fine. So long as I'm far away from you when it happens, then sure. You really have no faith in me whatsoever, do you? I've witnessed you pinching her today. Can you blame me? Um, yes? What's that got to do with anything? For someone so smart, you get hung up on the strangest things sometimes. I think the coach might call us soon, so I'm gonna go get my bags out of the bus. We're kinda late on schedule. 
One second, y'all. Let me take a sip of my delicious, delicious coffee. Ooh. Ooh, that's good stuff. Light kind of blend. It'll be fine. We still got her. We still got her 30 minutes before matches start. Yes, and we need to sign in, get changed, and warm up. You have the first match of the day. Don't you think you ought to have a little more sense of urgency? How about we try, our, try to enjoy ourselves a little bit here? There's no need to make a whole thing out of it. Enjoy ourselves? This is a competition, not a tour of some kind of holistic museum. A holistic what now? Kaken groans, reaching with his left hand to rub the bridge of his nose and shaking his head sideways in an over-the-top display of exasperation. Never mind, I'm going to take a walk, too. But... <laughs> I try to protest, but the hare quickly walks past me in an all-too-soon callback to Saya's earlier gesture. Right, I guess Saya-chan isn't the only one that's on edge today. I decide to shrug it off and ignore the sigh of my friend's sanities, slowly being chipped away, instead electing to go on my phone and check my messages. Can't wait to see you later. Heading to school now. Love ya. Suichi messaged me about how, about an hour ago, letting me know that he was on his way to class. I'm still a little bummed out that he couldn't come during the morning, but what can I do? I'd rather sulk in silence and tell him how I'm feeling than make him feel guilty. I'd just be a shit boyfriend if I'd just be a shit boyfriend if I did that. Not to mention when he would be arriving, which would also make me a tad anxious if I'm being honest. He only said he'd be coming in the afternoon, but since I have the earliest time slots for both my morning and my afternoon match, I worry that I'll already be done by the time he gets here. Part of the reason I was so anxious on the bus was precisely because I was worrying about that. It kind of surprises me how much it got to me not having Shuichi around yesterday. Don't get me wrong, I don't mind going a few days without seeing each other if that's ne if it's necessary. I'm not going to flip out from it or anything, but... If I'm having something this important going on, I kind of want him around for it. That's not bad, right? Yuichi-san! The sound of my name being called snaps my attention away from my phone. I quickly shove it back into my pocket, looking around for the source of the call. Trying to find someone in an area this, this full is more of a challenge than I thought it'd be. And, but then... I spot so, I soon spot two familiar shapes walking towards our bus. I blink a couple times, as recognition takes a few seconds to settle for me. I'm more startled than anything, if I'm being honest. Aren't they... way... early? Aki, I can sort of get, but June? It's not even 9 a.m. Uh, good morning, you guys are here really early. After yesterday's incident and us barely making it in time, we decided to come here earlier today. Oh yeah, that was a thing that happened. Thankfully, we did get some extra help, which was really handy. Help? Well, first we had a near heart attack, then we had help. Uh, you see, June said- Oh, uh, don't tell him! Huh? What? What's going on? Nothing, it's nothing. June-san... June starts fidgeting where he stands, his tail lashing so violently behind him that I'm surprised he hasn't hit anyone with it yet. I can't, he can't even look me in the eye. What the hell happened? It's embarrassing! It's concerning is what it is. Hey, is that Mizuguchi-san on the other side of the road over there? Hey, Mizuguchi-san! <laughs> June desperately looks around for a second before spotting Saya. As soon as he does, he calls out to her and starts to move, dashing forward with a, dashing forward to her without a moment's delay. But wait, June-san! Not again! Again, what do you- Oh no. And before I have the chance to finish my question, Aki runs after June as well, leaving me alone once again. Is this going to be a running trend today? I mumble under my breath in frustration. More to myself than anyone else. Anything else. This is the fourth time in five minutes. A am I cursed or something? Shaking my head, I take a deep breath to center myself before going to grab my bags from the luggage compartment to the side of on the side of the bus. I half expect to find Cake in here, but when I look around, I notice him also on the other side of the road. Although, he is a ways away from the rest of the group. Alright, y'all, let me have a sip of my coffee real quick. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, that's perfect. Oh, that's perfect. Mmm. Delicious. He seems to be on his phone. Is that what he's doing? The sight of Kaken with that ungodly amount of bags hanging all over him all on his phone is mildly amusing for some reason. Oh, God. As soon as I finish grabbing my stuff, I will... Oh, that kind of freaked me out for a moment. I make up my mind to meet up with my overly moody and shifty friends when, all of a sudden, something or someone reaches out from behind me and covers my eyes before I have a chance to react. What the? Guess it. Get look! My body reacts almost immediately. Despite the momentary freeze, I move, I move on pure reflex, elbowing the person behind me straight away and before I have that fun, the chance to register whose voice it is that I was, answer, that I was hearing. Aww! Therefore, imagine my surprise when I turn around and see my boyfriend doubled over and clutching his stomach through choking and wheezing. Shuichi? Couldn't you have gone a little easy on me? Shuichi coughs a few times, just watching him like this is enough to make me feel bad. I didn't even know it was you! 
Note to self, you doesn't react well to surprises. S sorry It's not your fault. I did something stupid thinking it'd be cute. I mean... Yeah? But I still didn't want to hit you. But if a total stranger grabs you that warning, wouldn't any reasonable person react like that? Are you okay? I think I might have cracked a rib, but otherwise I'm alright. Come on, I didn't hit that hard, did I? Nah, you're fine. Sorry, I tried to make a joke to lighten up the mood. Z zero for two today, huh? Still, what are you doing here? I thought you said you were heading to class. I almost was. Explain. I did intend to go to class today, but when I messaged Totoka mentioning how frustrated I was that I couldn't go today, she made a suggestion. Oh? Uh, she apparently mentioned it to Mom and her, our stepdad, and next thing I know, he kind of offered to lend me his car if I wanted to drive down here today. His car? Yeah, so uh, if Dad asks, I was at school this morning. Okay. Should we just skip class? Should we? Chi? Wait, no, that's not even the most shocking thing here. Don't lose focus. What do you mean you borrowed his car? Since when can you drive? As soon as the question escapes my, escapes my lips, Shuichi's expression shifts. He stares blankly at me for a second, as if he doesn't know how to respond. Since I turned 18 last year and got my license? You got your license? Yes, I just said so. Since when? Since I turned 18? Last year? Come on, you keep up. Hey, that's... What? Ah, you, Shuichi sen, did you manage to find a place to park? Yeah, it took me almost 10 minutes, though. It's really chaotic here right now. Wait, you guys knew about this? Yes, yes. Shuichi sen is the one is the one that drove us here. He messaged us he messaged us around the time when we were getting ready to leave the house and let us know he'd be coming to buy to pick us up. H he did? Are you seriously going to keep acting shocked over every little thing? There's just so much for my mind to process right now. But what about you two? Did you guys did you guys know that Shuichi could drive? Not really, but I'm not exactly surprised. You're not? Don't most people get their licenses when they turn 18? They, they do? I didn't even think of it. Wait, does that mean... I shoot the three other... I shoot the three other 18-plus members of the group a meaningful look, already dreading the potential answer here. Don't look at me. I don't have a license. Neither do I. Same here. Oh, thank God. I'm not the only one. I'd have felt really pathetic if I was... There would be no real reason for me to get mine since my family doesn't have a car. Since it doesn't have a car I can use, and I'm planning to move out of the country once I graduate anyway. Getting a license so I won't use and would have to pay to renovate would be dumb. Uh, oh. I didn't take mine because the exam is really expensive, and it's rare for people to pass on their first tries, so we couldn't afford to spend that much money. That's... I briefly considered it, but I have drivers to take me everywhere, so there was no point. Besides, I have other circumstances that would currently keep me from doing it even if I wanted to. Does that mean that... I'm the only one that completely forgot there was a word thing? Man, the look on your face does not inspire confidence. Sh shush I forgot licenses were a thing in the first place. If you say so. But besides, even if I took mine, I wouldn't have access to a car that I can drive either, so there there would be no point for me to get one, right? Yeah, totally. I'm I'm just a big brain, so I didn't even so I didn't even have to think about it to know it was a stupid idea. That's what it was. Actually, I'm curious now. Have you ever even driven a car since taking the test, Shochan? Not really, but it's not exactly difficult. The trip here was pretty uneventful. That is, outside of when I went to pick up Je Ah! You don't need to tell them that! Jun-san... This again? What the hell happened? Nope. Sorry, Jun-kun. I really do need to tell them. That was a really irresponsible thing you did this morning. But... No buts! No! God, Jun's tail is lashing out again. What the heck? All the suspense is only making me even more curious. What happened? Like Aki can said, I went to pick them both up this morning. I got Aki. I got Aki first since their place is closer to my mom's. Then we headed to Junkun's house. Then I was, when I was about to drive, when I was about to arrive from behind a wall, he just jumps in front of the car, waving at us and calling out to me. What? What? Excuse me. The three of us very quickly go from curious to shocked to worried. Almost in unison, we turned to look at June, who was now trying his trying to do his best impression of an armadillo curling up into itself. Are you insane? And if that wasn't bad enough, he completely freezes up like a deer in the headlights. Just locks up and stands in front of the car without moving. I have to slam on the brakes to keep from running him over. By the time the car stops, the bumper is almost close enough to touch him. You've got to be kidding me. You didn't even try to move out of the way. I, I froze, okay? Are you okay, at least? Yeah, I'm fine. It was just scary, that's all. Dude, 
You think I'd have? Do you think I'd have driven down here if I'd have so much? Do you think I'd have driven down here if I'd so much as touched him with a car? We've been in the hospital right now. There's nothing wrong with making sure. I get that feeling that everyone here is more or less thinking the same thing as me. As in, we're all amazed at how utterly lacking June seems to be in the self-preservation instinct department. However, it'd be cruel to pile on someone who nearly got run over. Got run over about how dumb it is of them to get to nearly get run over. So we all collectively decide to bite our tongues on the matter. That whole thing aside, though, have you guys registered already? Not yet. Uh, we were stretching our legs for a bit before doing it. We should probably head there and do it already. Yeah, I guess that's fair. I'm shocked Coach isn't here telling us to do it himself. He didn't seem to be in the mood to be wrangling a bunch of players at the moment. Well, he sure did seem pissed off in the bus, that's for sure. I guess the stress eventually gets to everyone? Not that I don't get it. We all walk together toward the entrance area, quickly spotting the small, the small agglomeration agglomeration in front of the registration desk. The rush to register tends to be at its peak either in the hour before the matches start or in the ten minutes before the end of the deadline. There really is no in-between. Looks like it's going to take a while. It always does. It's the worst part of every competition. Really? Signing up is the worst part to you? By far. Weird take, but alright. We should leave you guys to it then. Don't need to contribute to the crowding here when we're not even players. We'll meet you three inside. Yeah, sure. See ya. See ya. Shuichi places a hand on my lower back, giving me a meaningful look that lingers for a bit before walking off along with Aki and June. Somehow the gesture feels very intimate and reassuring without looking all that suspicious. It's nice. You're aware that your tail is wagging, right? Huh? No, I'm not. You definitely were. It was very obvious. I never should have told you people. Wouldn't be too hard to figure out eventually if you're acting like this in public. I hate you guys so much right now. Alright guys and gals, I'm going to go ahead and pause it right here. Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, ring that notification bell. Leave a super thanks or tip if you can, it always helps. Until the next video, I love you all. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye!